The feeling is mutual, and uh, we've had this conversation over and over again. The fake housemate, please step forward. I don't know how to feel about tonight. At the beginning, I was very happy. Trust me, I was so happy at the way tables were being shattered. In fact, Ebuka to be tables. I was just breaking them down. However, the end of tonight's eviction show. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Lucy's Quick World. Talking about the Big Brother Nigeria eviction show. Ah, I don't know. We're going to be talking about the things that I believe Big Brother forgot about for tonight's show. Maybe he got carried away by the noise that people were already making based on the fact that he had already hinted some things earlier at the diary session with the housemates. Because I, I don't know what just happened today. Ah, ah, like, let me explain. So, of course, the eviction show started. And before then, you know, the housemates in their usual manner, before the eviction show, you would have the housemates talk to Big Brother and all of that. So, during the diary session, Big Brother talks to Rachel, talks to Deji, talks to cheesy and then he tells them that like, you know they are both riders and fake housemates regardless of that whatever happens today do not reveal your identity so we were already anticipating a lot of violence and drama tonight and then he didn't tell that to modella so obviously we knew that modella would be going home tonight but what we expected from the whole unraveling was not what big brother gave us at the end of the day i don't even know what just happened ebukana comes uh, during the eviction show and he <laughs> Ibuka, Ebuka did his job today. Ebuka made us proud. He took the tables like he was just breaking them one after the other. So Ebuka starts with one of the obvious ships that looks like he wants to sail or something like that. That's Daniela and Dotun, which I personally, if you see my tweets, if you see my comment section, anytime people say, Lucy, let's, pr let's pray for Daniela, I'm always like, from what Kali is saying and what Daniela is saying, I think that, that girl her head is in the game, so let's not get distracted. However, people are just getting disgusted. Some people are saying no, it's Dotun. Dotun will not leave Daniela alone. Some other people are like, no, Daniela is scared of the camera and everything. That's why she's not sailing with Dotun. However, I feel that number one, it's a game. And secondly, all these things, no, they hold feelings. Don't hold feelings on it. No need. So Ebuka asked Dotun. What's going on there? Dotun is like. Um, it's as straightforward as I am. I I clearly have like Towards her, and I've made this very clear to her. And I was watching, I was like, Will you keep quiet? Which, which, what feelings? You, please. And then Ibuka goes on fast. Ibuka, Ibuka, Ibuka goes on to Giddy Fire. You see, Giddy Fire. <laughs> Ibuka asks Giddy Fire about Amaka, asks Giddy Fire about Diana, asks Giddy Fire about Rachel. And Giddy Fire was just laughing. You know, Ibuka, as in, you know, I, you know, I mean, do you like Diana? Yes, of course, I like Diana. Do you like Amaka? Well, we just agreed that you'd be a friendship. What about Rachel? You know, you know, Ibuka was like, see, please just leave it. I really love and respect the way Diana just left that situation. I have been, I have had the opportunity of talking on some shows, even on my own YouTube channel. I always talk about the fact that, see, I feel Big Brother Niger should not be about ships. I feel that Big Brother Niger is more than that. People should focus on other things, bring in content, but it must not be like a ship. What Giddy Fire is doing to himself right now, hmm, he will suffer the repercussion of everything at the end of the day based on his own game. Because now, Diana is like a way. He has said that he doesn't really like Amaka like that. So Amaka to one side. Now, Rachel, do you like him? Do you like Rachel? Do you not like Rachel? It wasn't straightforward. So I'm sure that a lot of drama will still unfold at the end of the day. Moving on to Chi Chi, one of the most acute <laughs> people have argued about this shit a million times. It won't be, I'm like, what's going on here? Okay, Chi Chi, what's going on? Chi Chi's like, you know, it's mutual. And the moment she said the feeling is mutual, I could hear the audience with Ebuka, they were screaming, how they're like, ah, yeah, for yeah, ow. But Deji was just smiling. I feel that Ebuka should have at that point in time also asked Deji. Probably next week, Sunday, he would ask Deji. But for now, he just left that but talking about chi chi one of the things i think big brother forgot to ask her or ebuka was the assignments or punishment that he gave her i thought at that point in time because he said she must finish the assignment before the eviction shoot and i could see her still writing so i thought ebuka or big brother was going to announce and say your punishment i've seen it i forgive you or why have you not finished the assignments he just got carried away and moved on another thing that ebuka did today that made a lot of people like 
what's going on here he was bringing up Fina and Groovy relationship I remember when Kes was like you know this relationship thing that I'm not sure about Groovy and Fina Ebuka asked Fina saying you know Beauty was with Groovy you liked Elo Swag when Beauty was out of the picture you went to Groovy because Elo Swag was like I don't really feel you was Groovy like a rebound or something Fina just sat down as the answer queen and she was like, no, what we have is mutual. Like this word mutual. Oh God. <laughs> and then Ibuka was like, okay, okay, fine. Now the moment we have been waiting for comes upon us. Ibuka calls the housemate and says, everybody stand up because everybody was nominated fake eviction or fake nomination. And he's like, the fake housemate should come out. Okay. Modela comes out. But after Modela came out, I was expecting more. Not Ebuka saying good night. Good night for where? Where? How now? He goes on and say, okay, everybody's like, oh my god, Modela, I could see Fina's face. I could see uh Alice was like, oh my god, but I love the way Daniela came and hugged her. I was like, I knew it, I knew it. People always knew it. However, but what happened to Cheesy and they I was supposed to have drama. People were expecting it. I don't understand. That was all what we signed up for. I really feel that Big Brother forgot something. Maybe he's still going to announce something again. I do not know. But I was not just impressed with the way it ended. Like, what happened? Why did you just say every other person you are safe? Sit down. Sit down where? Ah, ah. You bring that distrust. Because now, even Ebuka is saying the Big Brother Nigeria show should not be about ships. Okay, it's not about ships. But how about you give us something to talk about? Yes, you broke tables and all of that. But how about you also bring a little bit of distrust? Let me go with who. Why you call Shags and say Shags? Are you a fake housemate? Let Bella question him. Let. <laughs> Lady, are you fake? <sighs> Tonight's eviction show got me really high at the beginning, but towards the end, I just did not feel it. I'm like, no, this was not what we expected. Modela is outside and Ebuka is asking her about Brian. And of course, she said his vibes. I really respect the way she did not have anything with Brian in the house. Like, he saved her a whole lot of drama because when the reunion show starts, she will not really have too much to complain about. However, people are just saying that Modela left because she didn't fulfill her task. When people are said scatter ships, she's not scatter ships. She was just dead. She's just doing a lot of violence in that house. It's causing a lot of chaos. Deja, on the other hand, is doing his own. Even Rachel, if you look at Rachel, she's doing her own. But I still think that somehow Rachel is forgetting why she is there. But we'll see that as it all unfolds on the show. Guys, that's it from me talking about the things I feel Big Brother forgot to address today. Chi-Chi's punishment and the fake housemates and the riders bringing them out as the, we thought it would bring them out. Like I felt it just made us... <laughs> Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to share this video with those you love. And of course, enjoy every moment. Bye.